But he was, yeah. So, you, five hours and wonderful, blissful sleep pass, and then you hear, uh, another, com well, Not you're awoken, three of you are awoken from your slumber by what sounds like distressed yelling down in the common room. Up again, out the door. You just directly go out the door yeah. downstairs? Okay. Sending a you message mean? to Bruce. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Here, you tell Bruce to bring mouse I'm going to grab my size. I'm sorry. You come down the stairs and you see, um, not a middle-aged woman, maybe in her 30s, and a small child next to her talking in, uh, distressed, uh, borderline yelling at Bethana, who is attempting to console her and, uh, looking around for some help. Uh, the drunkards in the common room do not stir, um, and you can see the woman is clearly distressed. How's it going, Bethana? Uh, I was actually thinking of fetching you. Um, this there's been something has gone terribly wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, Amelie here has lost well, kitten. The woman. Oh, um, she, the woman turns to you me. and she doesn't reach out and grab you, but you can see her hands come back and forth like she wants to desperately ask you for help. And she's like, "Please, my husband." I don't, no, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> the bobbles are delicate. Please, you must help. Uh, um, uh, my husband, there's one of those nasty creatures, we found him in my house. Your husband's a nasty creature and we found him. The goblins! Okay. He's trying to fight them, but I don't know, we're not fighters, he's just a carpenter, and there's a goblin in our house. Okay. Um, and she starts relating to this, this story between, you know, sort of, these half heart, these half sobs, and her child is sort of high in her leg that, um, the child had been uh, claiming that he'd been seeing things at night, and then she grabs his arm and pulls the sleeve back, and you can see bite marks along it. Um, that's rabies. <laughs> All right. And that... <laughs> Just put him down. We'll go get the rest of them. <laughs> and that only a few hours before, the dog had been barking ferociously at something and then abruptly stopped, and then oh. the child began screaming. The husband entered, and there was a goblin attempting oh. to eat the child. Alright, do you think a shark could fit inside your house? A I'm, what? A shark. I'm a what? Serious. No, a shark please help! I, that's part of the help. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can't get to the other guy fast enough, so I need to know if we can fit. You need to go now! Hey, lady. Yeah. She, you can tell she's very distressed and only wants help. Give us the address and we'll fly there. We'll make him fit. It's just up the street. Okay. On the corner. Okay. Lead, lead the way. She... she Leaves the child with Bethana. I, I turn back to Bethana. Maybe some bacon, please. <laughs> Start walking out. No, it's 3 a.m. I can wait. <laughs> uh, the woman hurriedly <laughs> runs out. Uh, you find yourself actually having to exert yourself a little to keep uh, pace with her. Are you two so following? So yeah, and Bruce is outside waiting. <laughs> wait, I really do oh. think we should go check the mark again. bacon's bad. <laughs> no, I know. Okay, uh, she leads you to up, uh, up, the, <laughs> up the street to the nearest uh, cross section, and she points to her house. You can, the door is wide open. Um, it's two stories, and uh, you can see that it's a house. Yeah, cool. Um, just inside, right? Yeah. Inside and up the stairs. All right. Mm -hmm. I open. I open the doors. It locked. It's wide open. I like, run in. Uh, you see the kitchen off to one side. Uh, door. That's stairs. thrown a jar that you can see um, a bed in, a small living room, and stairs along the back wall. Upstairs. All right, you see uh, one room to the left and one room to the right. The room on the left has its door open. Okay, so I'll peek in there. You see a small bed in the corner, a window, and a man's body across the floor, um, his upper body in a closet. There was my flanking, buddy. I'll wait then. Make a perception check. <laughs> Ooh, ten. Wait, no, hold on. Ten. <laughs> uh, it's not super loud, but you can make out the faint sounds of what sounds like something being chewed. Hmm. Yum. I'm gonna. <laughs> what are you? Are you two following, Lane? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, in. the house is not very big. 
versus a big big guy. The doorway is not. I really what? just need a flanking buddy. I don't really care. I don't really care. Beer, you're making a perception check. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really from that part. Yeah, <laughs> Something is happening. Hey, Ariel. Hey, Ariel. I don't really need Bruce. I just need somebody. All right. I'm. I know, I'm you, can, I know you can cast someone else. You hear a mouse chittering in the corner, but it doesn't really. <laughs> I'm it doesn't to, really register in your sleepy brain. You do I'm not go there. in. I'm going to have a mouse. Was you do not go in. What? He says he's not going to fit. Bruce won't oh. fit. Mouse can Bruce squeeze in, oh. but the stairwell is not very wide. Uh, I just, I just need you to cast some monster in there. I just need something to fucking. Fine. Get on the other side of and <laughs> have fun. <laughs> I'll just do a dog. The body twitches slightly. Mm, he's done. He's a Connor. <laughs> and the sound of chewing and shredding becomes slowly louder. It only takes a round to cast it. What are you doing? I'm so you're in the hallway. Are you coming up the stairs? Yeah, I was behind him. Okay. I was summoning a dog. In the room. In the room. <clears throat> I want to look up what happens when a summoner summons something. There, I don't want the spears. Yeah. So as you channel the dog, you hear mm-hmm. from Bruce, and then <laughs> not used to this. as the dog it happened very often. As the dog comes into view, forms and well, boss solidifies or something. Uh, <laughs> a medium size. <laughs> a medium size. <laughs> a little pearl shows up. <laughs> Two goblins. What the fuck? <laughs> Your deformed, crippled, imp familiar comes uh, into view. So, is, is the dog in the room? It's in the hallway. You didn't tell her where to put I, it. I was in the room. Yeah, in the room. Okay, yeah. the dog is in the room. Then I will go ahead and go in. I'll name him Humphrey. Okay, you go in. I'm going the to... The room is not large. Give myself enough room around the closet where the guy's head's in, so I'm going to kind of like go around the back of the bed. Okay, uh, you can see blood on the bed. You, uh, as you step around, you can see the body of a dog on the other side of it. That has been slashed open at the throat. And in the closet, or is the closet door closed? The closet door is open, and there's a man's body, upper body, looks like it's been dragged in, and his head is tilted downward in what appears to be a hole. Oh. And you can still hear those chewy noises. Delicious. I take my size and just stab down in the hole. Well, you can't get to it. The body is across, and his head is in it. I'll yank his body out. Uh, make He's a strike, dead anyway. Make a strike check. Mm, nine. Uh, the pulling. You feel the body start to give, and then something holds it fast. I need help. And the chewing abruptly stops. That's right, you little shits. Somebody come help me grab this fucker. All right, in the room I go. Okay. Just got rid of Bruce. What are you doing? Great. I'm following <laughs> on Mouse, like. Mouse seems, very slowly up the stairs. Yeah. Mouse, um. Can he fit up the stairs? Jesus. Slowly. Make a dexterity check from Mouse. Or quarter movement. <sighs> All I can hear is a George Thorgood song in my head. And in, the, so- and in the house I go. <sighs> Ten. Mouse is able to get up the stairs very slowly. He's moving at... Let's see. He's a big gorilla. It's a narrow stairway. He's, uh, probably a quarter movement. Um, he's not used to the sound of environment in these tiny closed spaces. Uh, he's claustrophobic too. Make a reflex save. Oh my god. That was impressive. Yeah, I know. Eight. Why don't you roll it again? Maybe towards the DM. And not, and not hit his die. I don't like We need to invest in some dice trays. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what, what did you say? Reflex. Uh, for mouse? For you. Oh, 18 plus... You managed to duck your head out of the way as the low ceiling nearly smashes you in the face. Oh, okay. So what do you... you two, you're in the room, you're in the room, the dog. Where's the dog? The dog's in the room. The dog should help, too. The dog's going to be helping, too. He's going to grab his leg and pull. Together here. 
I am a fierce beagle. Is it a beagle? A mighty corgi. I haven't decided yet. Is, is it a jersey? No, I get to decide. Fine, what kind of dog would you like? Bull Mastiff. Cool. It's a very like cramped is. room. <laughs> you need to look up the dog. I don't know what I'm doing right time. now. Sound asleep. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm rolling to assist her and I didn't. Lacey, you rolled, pulled, buddy. Strength check. You were the dog. You I were don't the really dog. care who I assisted. What did you roll? Pulled an eight. Now, did you? Uh, and, now, and now the dog? <laughs> well, my spirit yeah. self, my sleep spirit. So we try it again. No. no, you managed to pull the body back. Oh, really? Um, you see a smear of blood come as the body is pulled back. Where are you pulling it to? Just out of the way of the hole. Right. So are you just looking at it, or are you just watching the hole? I'm going to, like, into the hole. You will have to get close to it. Yep. And what are you aiming at? Just into the darkness. Okay. Just stabbing indiscriminately. 50% missed chance. Go for it. 16 plus 1 is 17. So that's goblin it hits. It doesn't hit. Oh, really? Alright, well, that one won't hit either. Nope. You hear a surprise yelp, but your size do not find purchase. And a dagger comes out of the darkness. Sure. Small crude dagger that whizzes past your face and does not manage to hit. In uh, you see behind the dagger the face of a very angry goblin with gore and blood smeared across his face. Okay. I'll wait till my turn to do what I want to do. And it's time to roll initiative. Um, sure, Birger, why not? <laughs> I want to see if that mouse wakes me up. <laughs> <laughs> The end. Nineteen. All right. Ten. Mug mug. Ten. <laughs> What's your dex mod? Ah, uh, fourteen. What's your? So two. Two. Your uh, E comes before M in the alphabet, so you go first. I was about to say we're still shambling up the stairs. Well, our name was no, I'm in the room. You. you are not. Yeah. I'm gonna put the end one. I don't care what he rolled. To go first. I'm gonna call it negative one. Negative one. He rolled the leastest. I'm not even going to bother. Right, Liang, you're up first. There's a goblin half out of the hole with a crude-looking dagger snarling at you. You can see blood and gore spiddling from his mouth as he yells something angry. If I were a 5th edition character of mine, I'd pull my pants down and pee on him. I'm not. Check of opportunity. No? Because I'm dropping an object, not picking it up. I don't think your pants count as an object if you're not wielding them. Just unfasten and drop. Jesus. Are you, are you talking about Sue? <sighs> Who else would he be talking about? <clears throat> no, the bard I had, the other bard. Oh. Uh, gonna stab one time into the darkness. You can see him. Motherfucker. I'm done rolling on that fucking thing. No, you roll? It's impossible. Two. Your side clips the wood. The goblin smiles wickedly. Alright, so the goblin is going to attempt to move through your space. Oh, fun. Yes. As. That's a natural 20. Oh, he gets by me. So he bounds past you, running between your legs, out into the open room, and screams in a high pitched voice as he sees the dog. That's right, because they hate They're dogs. They're the dogs. I thought that's why you asked for a dog. No, I need, just needed somebody. Needed a body. <laughs> didn't matter what. However, it's a very cramped room, and he's only moved one space through you <laughs> towards the window. He takes a swipe at you when he turns around. Wow. Stabs the wall. And his dagger comes out. He's clearly frustrated and thrown off by the presence of a dog.